pain. <laughs> My Wi-Fi is so bad. Whoops. Got to get rid of this. All right, and here we start. So naturally, our aim was to create something for a slightly more mature audience um, in the adolescent range, create something more, um, I don't want to say more fun, but more involved, something that would uh, get them familiar with the station and what Astro is about. If you could uh, press start, Mark. Thank you. Uh, so this is our overview of the ISS, labeled all the nodes, and of course, uh, well, the starting node would be the Columbus, where Astro B uh, will begin. And at first, you really only have that one available, naturally, for the course of progression. And we do have info on the different uh, nodes, just a little uh, facts down in the left-hand corner when you roll over the available nodes. Uh, so if you could select Columbus available for me, thank you. All right, here we go. This little introduction scene shows the astronauts blasting off uh, and their estimated arrival uh, is a little bit of an introduction. Now, the goal of this game is for Astro B, sort of his introductory missions, to prepare for the arrival of the astronauts to the station. Or if you could go ahead and press start. And so we're going to be showing him doing all sorts of different tasks to get ready, uh, some of which have been made a little more futuristic, uh, some of which are still rather simple. You could press start. All right, perfect. So the first task we show Astro B off is with a very dirty Columbus module uh, that he's going to have to vacuum up. And uh, I'm sure you'll notice we did take some liberties here in making the Columbus module uh, glass in order to give the player excited for the first thing, show off uh, space and sort of this very uh, floaty, intense, not intense, uh, rather involved environment, as I like to use that word a lot. And you can see a uh, little different functions on the panel board that we will be unlocking as time goes on. And in the bottom left, as I'm sure you just noticed, we have a little uh, bunch of missions for Astro B sort of guiding him along the station uh, from place to place. And with each mission completed, you unlock more nodes, modules. Move on. Looking for more dirt. <laughs> You're very thorough. Got it clean. And now we have Astro B jettisoning his little uh, little vacuum cartridge into a receptacle to dispose of it. Showing this little infrared pointer that uh, allows us to sort of see where Astro B's aiming, like gives us a pointer function. Now we can uh, move on to uh, Astro B's first unlockable, his sound upgrade made by our very own Mr. Shen, uh, which is the first mechanic he's going to be using to sort of fix things up around the shuttle. The station, Oof, slip of the tongue there. And here we have Astro B going to dock to receive his upgrade. All right, and now Astro B has his sound scanning mechanic. Uh, Mark, if you could bring that up. We have Astro B capable of scanning for a, a, a couple types of different quote unquote disturbances uh, that he needs to go around the station to uh, get involved with. And so for this particular uh, mission, we'll be using the hull scanner 
to uh, find pieces, loose pieces of metal, normally tools that have been uh, dislodged or causing some sort of obstruction. And here we use these little sliders to adjust the amplitude and frequency of the sound wave to try to match the original background wave. And in the left-hand corner there, there is some additional information uh, that Mr. Shen added in. All right. And now that we're successful there, we have this little pointer guiding us in the direction of the obstruction. And here we see that it looks like a wrench has gotten itself loose in one of the astronauts' sleeping pods. Well, it's a little dangerous. Don't want to donk your head on that while you're uh, taking a nap. So we're going to have Astro B pick it up with his very useful little robot arm. and now return it to the tool board where it uh, should have been. All right, and now that Astrobe has safely returned the tool to where it belongs, he's going to keep heading down, uh, exploring more of the station, this time heading to the U.S. lab, where he's going to get his second mechanic. And as Astrobe comes up to this new docking berth, we're going to sort of repeat the same process as before, this time receiving a temperature scan mechanic uh, made by our, our very own Robbie, uh, which allows Astrobe to detect abnormalities in temperature across the station. And now Mark's going to pull up the toolbar and show us uh, show us a little demo of that. So we have that nice, very nice looking scan wave. Thanks to Robbie coming out and going back in. And it looks like there's a problem on one of the fire racks. Those big yellow things there. Ashby's going to have to find. And there it is, a little flame indicating that, uh, that something's overheating in there. Astrobe's gonna have to go in and fix it. Uh, 
And now it's finally safe to adjust the solar panels. Pretty big part of the station where Astro B needs to uh, help manage your temperature, temperature and power to be ready for when the astronauts arrive. And this part here was made by Caleb, where we're going to be twisting the solar panels here, selecting them on the left, rotating them around to find the sweet spot. And if things of the finish up with the solar panels, another problem comes up as they always do. And it's up to Astrobe to use his audio scanner once again, this time using the scanning feature for the wires instead of the hull. And as you can see, each wave is different. Presenting the player a new challenge every time. Now, once again, Astrobe needs to go ahead and just find whatever's wrong. This time he'll be taking through some of the wire boxes around here, giving it a quick little repair. All right, and now Astrobe's got to go back to base. It's turning around and witnessing, of course, more debris that he needs to sweep up and tidy up. And even though we have already technically finished this mission, Mark is a lovely, very thorough player who likes to clean. And that's one of the things we also want to focus is the, you know, slight moment to moment feelings of just feeling satisfied when you sweep up, find an item, fix a thing. Those are the important moments we'd really like to highlight. a little too far away there, Mark.
And this time we have a slight different problem where the heating issue doesn't actually stay up on the screen and Astrobe has to sort of navigate his way around to find it using his uh, heat mechanic, heat scanning mechanic. for Astrobe's final task of the setup. He's going to need to just make his way back to the J-E-M-E-L-M-P-S module in order to get a tool to pop open the airlock. And these are some of the sections where we really want the player to feel at home maneuvering through the ISS, becoming familiar with it. And as Astrobe goes for the last tool, uh oh, major problem. Astrobe's onboard cameras have gone out. Now it's up to you to use the station cameras to guide him around, try to get back to the airlock. Now we have all these different uh, camera angles of the ISS that the player is going to use to be uh, navigating Astrobe around in place of the onboard cameras for a sort of almost cinematic effect. And a lot of this part of the game uh, comes to tie in with that familiarity we're trying to build earlier on and really making the player feel good about their navigation skills and getting things done. Especially with uh, rewarding uh, things with cool camera angles and interesting, more cinematic shots.
And here we go, finally having after we arrive at the very end, having completed his task. Still there, one. I had muted myself. I see. That's lovely. Uh, well, as I was just uh, saying to nobody, uh, that's where we normally have some higher production value cutscenes, something very nice to tie everything together as Astro B finally greets uh, the astronauts coming in at the very end. How long was I muted for, by the way? Uh, probably just long seconds. enough for me to bonk bonk into the walls and almost get stuck. All right, cool. Well, yes, thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to present, um, especially with my technical difficulties. And thanks to the whole team. Uh, and especially, I wanted to wait till the end uh, because Thomas mentioned it like right before we went, but Rulon, fantastic work with the audio and the music. Uh, some of my favorites. Yeah, thanks, Juan. Absolutely, and thanks to the team for the mechanics. Uh, it was uh, very interesting working with everybody this semester.